Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workman's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. It's been a while guys, um, some crazy times around here. Uh, as you guys know, I live in Sonoma County. And you probably heard about all the uh, the fires and all that we've had over here. Um, you know, everything seems to be getting under control now. But, uh, you know, a lot of damage. Um, people lost their homes. My wife's uh, cousin and a friend of ours lost their home. Um, people have uh, died, unfortunately. Uh, it's been a really uh, hard time for a lot of people around here. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of devastation for people um, these days. You know, uh, between Texas and uh, Florida, Puerto Rico, uh, now here in um, uh, here in Sonoma County, uh, Napa County, Solano, the you know the surrounding counties around here where the fires have hit. Um, so you know, a lot of damage. Uh, last I heard, it was over. Uh, well over 5,000 structures were destroyed, including homes and businesses and everything. So, um, but you know, it's, uh, it's been, there's been a little bit of silver lining guys. I mean, people really stepped up for each other, uh, came to bat for each other, you know, uh, donations and, um, just, you know, people trying to help each other get back on their feet. So, you know, it's, that's good to see, you know, that's what I love about, uh, not just, you know, this County here, but, uh, our country, you know, when, uh, uh, when things, when things get bad, you know, we tend to step up and help one another. And I love that about this country, you know, just, uh, you know, the unity. So anyway, guys, I, uh, thought it was time to get back, um, do a little review. It's been, I'll uh, probably at least three weeks, maybe a month. Um, but, uh, this is a good one here to, uh, get back with. Uh, Jameson Castmates and uh, Jameson Castmates guys, uh, we all know about Jameson. Uh, Jameson is uh, you know the most popular Irish whiskey in the world. Uh, the U.S. is the largest consumer of uh, of Jameson, and uh, you know it's uh, it's no surprise guys. It's Jameson's known for being a good solid whiskey, um, easily drinkable. You know it's uh, it's not a not a harsh whiskey or anything. Just a nice uh, light Irish whiskey. Uh, people shoot it, people sip it, um, and uh, anytime they come out with something, um, I like to uh, I like to try it out. And uh, this one here is uh, Jameson Caskmates, as I said. Um, they uh, you know they make it, they distill it, and and age it and all that uh, like regular Jameson, but uh, they finish it in uh, in uh, stout barrels, uh, you know stout beer barrels. So, uh, you know, it kind of uh, gives a nice little twist on uh, the regular Jameson. And uh, I thought this was a good one to do. Uh, let's open it up. And uh, I'll read you the bottle as well, guys. Jameson's been around a long time. Jameson's been around since, uh, I believe, the, uh, the late 1700s. Well, I think uh, it was the Bow Street Distillery back then. But uh, John, uh, John Jameson uh, bought the uh, Bow Street Distillery in, in Ireland. And, uh, you know, after several years of, uh, of operating it, uh, they changed it over to Jameson, I believe in about 1810, uh, changed the name to Jameson. So, uh, let's see what the back says here. It says, we've been distilling Jameson since 1780, but we're always open to new ideas. Uh, so when a local craft brewer borrowed our cask to age their own fi fine Irish stout, he gave us an idea. Why not finish our own precious liquid in stout seasoned oak barrels? The result is Jameson Caskmates, a special edition whiskey that uh, accentuates the, the trademark smoothness of Jameson Original with additional rich flavors of coffee, cocoa, and a gentle hint of hops. So, um, this is a 40% uh, ABV, 80 proof, um, pretty much your uh, standard, um, just like Jameson, you know, your standard uh, alcohol content. Take a look at this guy. It's a poured a nice little uh, double right there, um, and uh, it's it's nice and it's a nice light color. It looks like regular Jameson to me. Kind of uh, expected the color to be a little bit darker, only because of it being finished in the uh, stout barrels, and uh, stout's uh, you know pretty dark. So anyway, uh, take a take a nose. You guys on the nose, you get your. Uh, you know, your regular Jameson notes, um, some, uh, you know, that maltiness of, uh, that you get with a lot of, uh, Irish whiskey, uh, and some, uh, some scotch as well, but 
But uh, you get those malty notes, uh, definitely get some like floral notes, a um, little bit of honey in there, a little bit of vanilla sweetness. Uh, but there's definitely uh, something something extra in there, guys. Uh, probably that cocoa note they were uh, talking about. It just smells uh, uh, kind of roasty, you know, like uh, like roasted uh, malty uh, maltiness in there. Let's uh, let's take a sip. And on the uh, on the palate, guys, it's really interesting. It's it does have that classic Jameson taste, you know. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, kind of that light, uh, malty, uh, floral, honey thing going on there, um, which is a great great flavor. But it's definitely got some extra. It's um, it's got it tastes. I mean, you can definitely taste um, the stout in there. I mean. Just those uh, kind of roasty, malty, hoppy notes in there, and it's a really good flavor, guys. It's uh, take another sip, but it's uh, definitely got a nice little twist. You can also make out the uh, slight coffee note in there as well. I'm a big coffee drinker, guys. I, I. Uh, I like black coffee a lot, so uh, you definitely get those uh, uh, back to that roastiness, you know, uh, roasty uh, like coffee bean slash uh, uh, hoppy, malty type notes, a um, little bit of vanilla uh, in there as well. But uh, it's it's just a really um, you know you can taste that this is Jameson, but uh, it's just a really interesting take on Jameson. Um, you know, I I like. Uh, Sometimes when these um, these big companies experiment uh, different things, not just like the flavored whiskeys and all that. I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, flavored whiskeys. I like to taste how something came out of a barrel before they add all these uh, liqueurs and whatnot to them. But uh, this one here is uh, it's really interesting when they you know finish something, uh, you know, finish whiskey in uh, a stout barrel or. Uh, sherry barrels or, or something like that and uh, it seems like it's happening more and more people are trying to see what new ideas they can come up with and I'm a fan of that you know I love the original product but uh, I think they did a good job with this one guys so um, Jameson Caskmates this one here was about uh, I think it was twenty three ninety nine before tax probably about 25 26 bucks after tax um, so definitely worth a buy guys Try it out. Let me know what you think. And um, and that's about it for this one. Um, let's see. I have... Oh, I have a... There's a flavored whiskey that I've been asked to try um, that uh, that I may put on here. We'll see. Um, I usually don't turn down any... Uh, don't turn down any um, requests for... Uh, yeah, no matter what it is. So, I might put that one on here, guys. Um got a couple others that I might um, uh, might try out soon uh, the, it's kind of crazy um, I mean these whiskey reviews are secondary you know they're I love doing them but in the big scheme of things they're not uh, they're not vital you know uh, when it comes to people losing homes and losing lives and whatnot and the uh, the, the big liquor store uh, uh, bottle barn that I've been going to to get my whiskey is uh the the exit to get there is shut down right now because uh, that area was devastated by the uh, by one of these fires. Um, as long as or as well as you know several other areas. I mean, um, as I said, this county, you know, Sonoma County. Uh, my dad has a little ranch out in Sonoma, and uh, um, it was untouched, but the surrounding hills were all burning. So there was there was a time when it looked pretty scary out there. But uh, anyway, things are uh, some areas are still closed down, um, getting back to normal. So. Um, so when I can, I want to get over to, uh, to the bottle barn and, uh, you know, get a couple, there's a couple that I have in mind, uh, that I'd like to review here as well. So anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Um, as I said, definitely try this out, uh, for a rating, I would, I would give this one a, 
you know, I'd give regular Jameson probably an 85 out of 100. I do like regular Jameson. Um, uh, this one here, I would give a little bit higher probably. I mean, just because I think it's really interesting um, and they did a great job with it. Uh, give this one an 87 out of 100. Uh, I think that's a pretty fair, uh, fair score there. So, um, guys, uh, subscribe. Um, definitely check out uh, my Facebook page, uh, work, The Working Man's Whiskey. Um, and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Um, just uh, miss talking to you guys, and, and uh, it's good to, to be back on here with you. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, until next time, cheers.